Hello, this is a video at a lead time. Today I'm gonna to show you to use a LT3000 to do the hydro distillation with the frankincense tears. The difference between hydro distillation and uh, steam distillation is hydro distillation you mix the material in the pot with water and then do the boiling and let the steam out and go through the condenser. Hydro distillation, you separate the water from the material, the so material on the top, so the only steam pass through it, and then you still condense the steam. So first I measure 100 gram of uh, uh, frankincense tears. The tears has a different size, some like a bigger, Like that big and you see the smaller is uh, much smaller than the bigger one. Um, uniform size is better for the distillation. So that's why I got to use a blender to uh, cut into a uh, uh, smaller pieces. Uh Show you. I'm gonna add into the pot. Add about two thirds of the level, which is around 1.2 liter. After 30 minutes, I collected uh, 500 milliliter of uh, the beautiful hydrosol. I gotta put it, pour this into the cup so you can see the color of the hydrosol. So this cloudy or milky color is a symbol of a fresh made uh, hydrosol because it contains the oil in it and the oil disperses in the water so it makes the cloudy uh, color. I want to show you what it looks like after the distillation. So this is already cooled down. Open it. So you can see the color of the water. We're gonna pour the hydrosol in the spray bottle.
Yeah, this hydrosol has a beautiful uh, frankincense, unique smell. It's uh, like a fragrance. It's natural fragrance. It's so good. Um, yeah, the fra frankincense tears, you know, in religion is a very unique um, the presence. Uh, and also, frankincense hydrosol, it's a very good skincare uh, product. It can help uh, smooth wrinkle, and that is why it's called an anti-aging uh, hydrosol. Hopefully you learned something today. Like the video, share with your friends. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.